What do you think this means for the Biden presidency tonight? Is it, is it a huge referendum on him and ultimately a, a true test of where he goes in the final two years? Well, um, you know, if, if, if the Democrats end up losing control of the House of Representatives, it's going to be harder to get key pieces of his legislative agenda passed, things that he's going to be able to get passed, he's going to have to compromise with Republicans on. Um, I think, you know, one of the biggest consequences of losing the House of Representatives, as people expect tonight, is that we're going to see a shift in the, uh, in, 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 the, in the culture in the House. And so all of the investigations that have now been focused on the previous administration are now going to focus on the Biden administration. And so I expect that that's going to be a really, really cantankerous relationship that's going to make it hard to get substantive legislation passed. You know, when you talk about the House and, and you talk about the congressional races that we have seen in, in Georgia, there are really no surprises. Everybody that you would expect to do well has mm -hmm. or at least seemingly is on target to do well from polling that we have seen. Yeah, so I mean the, the one race that's competitive that we will be paying attention to over the course of this evening is in the second district with Sanford Bishop. That was the really competitive race. Um, you know, it's important. We've known this since the summer, but Democrats are going to lose control of the sixth district. And so, uh, you know, that's one of the seats that's actually going to go towards Republicans being able to move closer towards advancing a majority. We need to see what happens in the rest of the country based on uh, polls that suggested that Republicans were up in the generic ballot by anywhere from about you know two to four percentage points. Uh, models predict that that would incur a loss for the Democrats of anywhere from about 20 to 23 or 24 seats. So we'll see whether or not that actually holds.